Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix. This is a little bit of a quick shoot video. I wanted to talk about this whole Google Stadia thing because whenever Stadia was first announced, I thought it was a really cool idea. After all, I was a big fan of OnLive. Definitely check out the link in the description or in the comments. I have a playlist of OnLive related videos if you're curious about that service and don't know what it's about. But essentially, OnLive was the precursor to the game streaming movement as we know it that is now being spearheaded by Google and Microsoft and supposedly Amazon's getting in the game. PlayStation's actually been doing it for a little while now. So it's been going on. You know, of course, NVIDIA is also involved. Not a lot of people know about that, but there is a lot of potential for game streaming being the next big thing. Maybe it'll take a few years or so, but who knows? That could eventually be the mainstream way that people play games. And I think the reason why that could be is, one, instant access to the games, two, being able to play anywhere, not being limited to where your system hardware is located, and a number of other reasons. So it is definitely something to keep an eye on, but Google has a tendency, apparently, to not learn from their own mistakes, but most importantly, the mistakes of everybody that's done it before them. So... What's really curious about this is, despite the fact that Google has been working on this for a long time, and they have a lot more money and resources, and I would presume just a lot more people on this project than OnLive had, their service is just not as good as that was when it first came out, which is really interesting because OnLive was in a different time period. They came out back in 2010. The internet speeds that we had back then weren't good enough for a lot of people, you know. Um, and it was limited to 720p, which was actually around the same time that YouTube started getting 720p videos. So that kind of dates back just how far it's been. And see, they had a lot of things that they addressed at the beginning of that service that Google apparently does not understand. A lot of the services, like, for example, being able to spectate people's games, Google promised that you'd be able to do this through YouTube day one. Where is that service? Where is that feature? It's not existent. OnLive had it day one. Also, it had the ability to browse your library and play games directly from the service, not requiring you to use a smartphone or anything like that. It didn't have weird requirements of using very specific hardware to be able to play it and it didn't limit your resolution if you're not playing it on a specific device or anything like that. It it had a lot of problems, mind you. Now I was a fan of the service, but I can admit it did have its share of problems. But it seemed like Google didn't take the lessons learned from then at all. They decided to do this completely from scratch and make all the mistakes that they did, and then some. Now, that's not to say that Stadia necessarily is dead in the water. I mean, they have made a lot of bad choices with it so far, but it seems like that the service itself, like the core functionality of it, is very solid. I know that from experience because I was a tester for Project Stream playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey last year, and I was able to play through it to completion with basically no issues. It worked out fantastically. So that part of the service seems to work very well. Um, at least it can. You know, maybe if your internet's not stable and whatever, or fast enough, you may encounter problems. But that being said, Google should have learned from the lessons of the past. And knowing Google... <laughs> Are they going to learn soon? We'll see. Down Phoenix out.